Hello! Let's learn to bind off our knitting in the round on double point needles. All you'll need to do is pick up your work as if you're going to knit the next row in the same way you've been working. I've been working here in a knit pearl rib. You can do one of two things. We're going to do a standard bind off here. So you'll either need to bind off loosely with the same size needle that you've been working with for the pattern, or you can go up a couple of sizes so that you don't need to bind off loosely and change your tension. You can use the same tension. So I'm gonna swap from this number five to a number eight before I start my bind off. So I'll pick that up in my right hand and to bind off I will just start working the live stitches off the left needle onto the right needle in the pattern I've been following. So here it was a knit purl. So we'll knit one stitch, purl one stitch, and then here once there are two stitches on the right hand needle we'll start the bind off. So we'll take the first stitch that we made and we'll move it over the second stitch inserting that needle through the first stitch, pulling the second stitch through until there's only one stitch left on the right hand needle. And you'll do that all the way down the first double point needle following your pattern. So I'll need to make a knit stitch here. Once there are two stitches on the right hand needle, we slip the first over the second And continue down the needle. I'll show you that in increased speed and show you how to turn the corner at the end. And as we come to the last stitch on that first left hand double point, you'll see the double point comes free as it normally would. Bring that first stitch over the second till there's only one left on that right hand needle. And you can set the first double point needle from your left hand aside. Then pick your work back up and turn the corner, sliding those stitches down towards the tip of the left hand needle. You'll have one stitch on the right hand needle and you're going to make one more. Remember to check your pattern, follow your pattern. See the knit, we'll make a knit. and then slip the first over the second. And again, we do that all the way down the needle, making sure there's only ever two stitches on your right hand needle at the same time. And here again, as we come to the end of the left hand double point, we only have one more live stitch left. We'll take that off the double point. You need to hang on to it until you have slipped that first stitch over the second. And then you can set your second left hand double point needle aside. We'll turn the corner in the same way as we did before. Knitting one, slipping one over the other. Work all the way down 
the last double point needle in your left hand and then I'll show you how to make sure everything is anchored securely in place. And now we are coming up on the very last live stitch in our left hand. Again, worked that in the same way the pattern has been asking you to in previous rows. Then slip the first stitch over the second. Your last left hand double point will be free. It can be set aside. And you will have one live stitch left on that right hand needle. We can set that down and we will clip our yarn with some very sharp scissors, leaving a tail that usually is about eight or 10 inches long, but check your pattern, they'll tell you. And then to anchor the last stitch in place and make sure it doesn't run, slide that needle up and away, pulling it through, and it anchors off. And then when you weave in your ends, you'll be able to straighten out the little nubs, and you'll have a finished piece. And that is how you bind off in the round on double point needles. I hope you found that helpful, and I hope you have a wonderful day.